In today's economic climate, with low interest rates and poor stock market performances, traditional investment sources are often yielding low or even negative returns. Because of this, many investors are looking for less traditional forms of investment that can offer the potential for robust growth. At Africa Land, we aim to provide a secure investment opportunity with excellent returns whilst also providing support for rural communities. On behalf of our clients, we have negotiated the purchase of 3,000 acres of prime rice farming land in Sierra Leone, West Africa. We didn't just stick a pin in the map and say, right, we're going to start growing rice here. We, we did a lot of research and we came up with a, a map um, produced in the 70s, a, a land use map which showed um, a map of Sierra Leone and the best crops to grow in, in various places. There were a number of places suitable for paddy rice growing and this was one of them. We visited something like five or six sites before we chose to come here. On making that decision, we basically had to build roads into the area, we had to meet the local population, agree, agree a, a price for the lease and, and here we are today. So we've leased 3,000 acres which is a very vast expanse. It's as, as far as the eye can see, it's further than those trees. It's probably up to the furthest trees that you can see. That's what we own. Since then, we've also taken options on even more land. We've optioned an, a further 20,000 acres. So that's a total of 23,000 acres. We have every intent to farm. The land is on a 50-year lease. This is the initial 3,000 acres. As part of that lease, part of the harvest every year, we give to the local population. Once the once the 3,000 acres is farmed, the local population will receive something like six articulated trucks full of rice, which is a massive amount of money and will make these people very well off uh, landowners. Rice is the staple diet of Sierra Leone. At the moment, however, only 11% of Sierra Leone is farmed and the country only produces about 50% of its rice requirement, leading to large importation. Through the company we have formed locally, Agri Capital Sierra Leone Limited, we have been farming rice in Sierra Leone since 2009. We have finished agricultural trials and brought in our first harvest. Agri Capital is contributing to our food security because Agri Capital has gone for a very vast land to farm and then uh, Agri Capital has also employed a lot of uh, young people in the community uh, which is really helping them to pay their children's school fee and to have something for their home. Our farm employs over 150 local workers and as our acreage of rice increases we are becoming more fully mechanised. Through our partners we have a network of shops across the country ready to sell our rice. Also the United Nations World Food Programme is looking at buying our entire annual production of rice which it will donate to schools in Sierra Leone, providing free school meals and thus encouraging families to send their children to school. Our quick capital is doing very well by selling its food to the World Food Programme because it does provide food for the children uh, in the school. So we already have a great local market for our product. Also, rice feeds about half the world's population, creating a very strong global demand for rice, ensuring prices remain stable. On Yoni Farm, land is available for purchase by the acre. As an investor, you own the title deed to your land and are allocated your own field. After an initial purchase, there are no hidden costs or ongoing fees. We're harvesting the rice. We're obviously in the fields here. Um, you can see from these posts, we've demarcated uh, each investor's acre. So these posts are 210 feet apart. And so the workers are uh, har harvesting one acre at a time. E each acre, the bushels are put on one side. They're then threshed and bagged. And so we know exactly how many bags come from each individual acre. That, that information is then logged in a book against the person's name. Your investment with Africa Land is designed to generate returns through a 40% share of the net profit from rice crop harvests, as well as any increase in the capital value of land when you sell your investment. Investors are welcome at Yoni Farm, and visits from our new investors are now becoming a regular occurrence. What's important to you when you look at investments? I don't want to lose the capital. Um, and also I want, I want to get a reasonable return. Do you yes. feel you've made a good choice in investing into agri-capital? Yes, I do, because I, I, I like Robert McKenzie a lot. Um, and I feel he'll pull the deal together. Now, w would you recommend this to anyone, this, this investment? Yes, I would.
Uh, now, now you're here in Sierra Leone, you've been here. I mean, what are your thoughts on Sierra Leone now? No, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I've checked, seen it myself, all the investment that's been made. Uh, I mean, how, how do you uh, compare the whole investment to experience against investment, say, in traditional investment? You get, uh, if, the, if it works out okay, the returns are a lot better than traditional investment. How are you enjoying your trip to Sierra Leone? It has been a very adventurous trip and I love it. <laughs> We are expecting to be able to offer returns of over 20% for the 2012 harvest and continue improving on this, bringing in substantial returns year after year. At present, the price of Yoni land is in the region of £1,950 per acre, compared with £4,000 per acre in Brazil or £11,000 per acre in Norfolk. So there is great potential for this side of the investment to also grow. Our management team has extensive experience operating in Sierra Leone, which has allowed Africa land through AgriCapital to establish its own distribution for its rice production, both through retail outlets and potentially through the United Nations World Food Programme. This will help investors maximise their gross profits on each harvest, whilst also assisting the population of Sierra Leone. Africa land will utilise local labour to harvest the rice. We consult with local groups, landowners and local government to ensure that we abide by local laws and processes. We've received a lot of encouragement and our investment approach is welcomed since it helps generate local income as well as putting in supporting infrastructure to assist with the development of the local areas. We have also committed to help with local education and tackling health issues through direct investment and this has been accounted for in our estimated yield calculation. Sierra Leone land is ideal for rice production but up to now the land has been underdeveloped and western methods of high yield farming are not being utilised. We use a mechanised approach to drive yields significantly higher with the aim of producing robust returns for our investors. In addition, we anticipate that Sierra Leone's emerging economy will benefit by opening up to Western investors. With Sierra Leone's long civil strife behind it, the country is poised to usher in a new era of economic growth and prosperity. To summarise, uh, agri-capital is, is a fantastic investment. Uh, we're investing in food, we're investing in rice. People in Sierra Leone need rice. We have the land, we have the capability, we, we, have, we have the manpower, we have the enthusiasm of all the local population. This project is working fantastically.